Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to search for files on your smartphone uh, using a free app called Mobile File Search. So normally, you know, if you plug in your smartphone to your computer, uh, you got to find the drive here, then you have your DCIM for your pictures and so on. And then of course you have your other, you know, downloads and music and so on. Uh, but this tool here, it's a quick way to find exactly what you're looking for or to search the whole phone itself. Uh, so like I said, it's free download, it's just a zip file, then once you uh, extract it, you just run the executable, and then you'll have your search results in the back, and then your search options up front here. Uh, you could choose your base folders. You could pick, you know, if you have more than one device plugged in, you could pick it from the list. So I, you know, this is reading my USB flash drive, so make sure it's on the phone. Uh, subfolder depth, how deep you want to go. Wildcards, right now I have it set to anything JPG, so it'll find any JPEG images. You could leave this blank to find all files or you could change the extension here if you want, or put a file name, so on. Uh, excluding folders, you could change which ones you want to have excluded. Uh, file size must be at least this big, or at most this big. Create a time, modify time, files and folders, and so on. So I'm going to leave it on JPEG and run it. So you can see it's starting to uh, find results here, and all these options will be grayed out until you either stop the scan or until it's done. Let's say I'm going to stop it here. So you can see we found some pictures and thumbnails. We have some game files there. Uh, some messages, you know, Instagram folder, and so on. So of course you can sort by file name, sort by the path. You have the object name. If you go to the options here, you have your double click action. So when you double click on it, right now it's set to open properties. So if I let's say this uh, Instagram one here. Tells you the data was taken or modified, the name, where it's located, just like that. And you could open the file or open the file with. And the same with that, pressing the enter key. File size unit, if you want to change that. The time, put the icon in tray. You'd have a preview pane on the bottom, like that. Show the tooltip, show the grid lines if you want to get a, make things a little easier to read. Mark out even rows. Uh, export items, you could choose the columns. So if you don't need all this stuff here, you could kind of narrow down your, col narrow down your column names. So it makes it a little easier to read. Uh, you could do a search, so copy items to clipboard, and so on. So like right now, I could open selected file. And there's the Instagram post there with a muddy mountain bike tire. So it's pretty cool. And if you want to go back, you just go back to here and change your search parameters. So if you want to do a different wildcard or just have it find anything or, uh, you know, change the other options that I talked about earlier. So I'll put a link in the description. You could download it and try it out for yourself and see how it works for you. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.